much for joining us, uh, Honorable Matthias Mpuga. How do you go about the business of finding a leader of opposition, A, when you claim to have won the election, and B, out of a divided opposition beyond a very, very difficult one of finding uh, the speaker and their deputy? Well, uh, good evening, uh, viewers, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Kasuba, for hosting me. Uh, to start with your uncharitable question, I do not know whether you, you're trying to set me up. I've just been sworn in. And I do not expect a, a journalist of your status and your age to ask me such a question. I think it's very unfortunate and uncharitable. You're saying we, we claim to have won an election. Do you have election tallies so that we can compare? Because you should call ours a claim. I think that's a very unfortunate question. I don't expect a senior journalist like you to begin on that note. Choosing head of opposition is a matter of law. It's not charity. It's a matter of law and uh, being a law-abiding citizens, we are alive to the challenges of our democracy. That does not in a way mean that we do not have a botched election. We have choices. We have, we have chosen the path of being democratic, of being law-abiding. It does not take away the thuggery that took place in that election. If you believe that election was democratic, like you really wanted to, uh, to imply in, in your unfortunate question, you probably were away, or probably you were sipping away at a wine. But if you really followed, you must have seen the most unfortunate events that took place in this election. In my constituency, I buried the people on polling day. People were shot. I'm still treating them. So, my brother, the next time you ask such a question, speak from the point of knowledge. Going forward with your questions, we are left the challenge.